Amagai Kohai, a third grade student at Senaman Technical High School, was attacking students from other high schools who were intent on destroying the alliance of the three high schools he was currently leading. He was helped by Suzaki Ryo, his childhood friend who was also a third year student at Senaman Technical High School. Apart from them, there was also Sabo Amahisa, also known as Sabaton. Senaman collaborated with Kamasaka High School, led by Himiro Riji, and also with Iwatsugu Kazushi, known as Ganji. Emperor High School also joined Amagai, along with their three leaders, Shoji, Fujin, and Reijin. With this alliance of these three high schools, Amagai is determined to rule all the high schools in the Sword Region and reach the top. Elsewhere, Hanaka Fujio, the leader of Oya High School, came to Suzerain High School alone, and upon arriving there, he announced that he was from Oya High School and wanted to meet the strongest student at Suzerain Lao. His words obviously surprised all the students who were there, and then they centered their attention on him. It didn't take long before Fujio was being attacked everywhere by Suzerain students. Unfazed by being outnumbered, Fujio faced all of his foes bravely. Then suddenly, someone came from above, and he confronted him. It was Binzo. Binzo and Fujio then faced off in a one-on-one -on -one duel. Fujio had a hard time fighting him, but luckily he managed to dodge his attacks. The moment Fujio was attacked by other students, Binzo shouted and asked everyone to back off, saying that they were no match for Fujio, who was good at fighting. Fujio gave Binzo a strong punch, but it didn't knock him out. To his surprise, he got back up, as if he didn't feel any pain. Binzo then choked Fujio, and with much struggle, Fujio finally managed to get away from him, and then countered Binzo with his punches. Binzo was knocked down, but he was still conscious, and hadn't been knocked down yet. Later on, Yamaguchi Magoroku came to the fight and challenged Fujio, but a student named Mercy stopped him. Binzo apparently knew that Oya High had clashed with House and High a while ago. Mercy then said that Lao was very popular, so if he wanted to meet him, he had to take a Ku number first. Fujio then asked where he could get the Ku number, and suddenly, Magoroku kicked him. And as Mercy said afterwards, the kick was his Ku number. On his way home from Suzerain High School, Fujio met a man dressed in a black robe. He soon realized that he was the man he had been looking for, Lao. However, Lao told him off because he didn't want to be disturbed. After visiting Suzerain, Fujio went to house in high school. He met with Jinkoma, Shideken, Shoji, and Yukin. In the past, Oya High School had clashed with house in high school. However, after the clash, they became friends. A student named Sabakan found out that Fujio had just visited Suzerain High School by himself, and it shocked everyone. Jinkawa then told Sabakan to tell the reckless Fujio about Suzerain. Sabakan then explained that Suzerain is currently leaderless, but they are divided into several factions. The most powerful faction is Lao's faction, although it only consists of six people. The first member is the spying specialist, Ito Kamui, then the strongest leader of the second class, said a Kansuk, and then Yamaguchi Magoroku, who is referred to as the strongest member of the Lao faction. Then there's the student who let Fujio go home unharmed, Mashi Teikiko or Mercy. Next comes Mayachi Kozo, who is commonly called Binzo. Binzo has the strongest endurance in Suzerain. And lastly, there is Misaki Mario or Lao, the one who holds many legends as well as being the strongest student in Suzerain. Jinkawa hoped that Fujio would stop finding out about Lao, as he was so dangerous that even Housen's supreme leader, Sakio, had not been able to defeat him. Upon hearing this, Fujio became even more curious about Lao, and it was only then that he realized that Sakio was nowhere to be found. Sabakan then told him that Sakio was currently abroad, accompanying his hospitalized mother. We're back in Suzerain. There were many students who couldn't accept Mercy's decision to let Fujio go. They thought it would lead to Suzerain being underestimated. Magoroku then explained that Fujio was the second person to break through to Suzerain after Housen's leader, Sakio, so he deserved their respect. Mercy added that Fujio was their guest who wanted to meet with Lao, so let the Lao faction take care of this matter. Mercy then told Count Mi to find out more about Fujio. At Oya High School, Fujio was gathering with his boys. He told Jammu that he had just returned from Suzerain and Housen. Needless to say, this angered Jammu. Jammu then said that Lao from Suzerain was a monster with a terrible legend. The other boys then laughed at Jammu. They thought he was just making it up. Jammu then opened a book and began to tell the legend of Lao. According to the first legend, Lao once ransacked Kurosaki Private High School.
The second one is that Lao once went on such a rampage that it closed down a highway. The third legend involves an incident involving the closure of a bar when Lao was in his first year of high school that caused several people to be injured, and the person who fought with him at that time almost died during the incident. That bar was finally closed forever. After hearing that story, the other boys were even more supportive of Fujio defeating Lao. In another place, Shukasa was fighting with one of the high school students who was targeting Oya High School. Todoroki then came to him, and according to him, Oya High School is indeed currently being targeted by other high schools in the Sword area. Shukasa then told Todoroki that he also saw some students from Senemon High School, even though it was far away from their area. Todoroki thought that Senemon was also targeting Oya High School. Meanwhile, the leaders of Kamasaka High School, Apera High School, and Senemon High School were gathered in a bar. They were planning to take control of all schools in the Sword region. When Amagai arrived with Suzaki, Rijin told him to immediately attack Oya High School. However, Hamagai asked them to expand the Alliance members in order to make their forces even stronger. Fujio received a letter from Sakio that the latter had left with Sabaken before leaving for overseas. In the letter, Sakio asked Fujio to help House and High School if they were involved in a clash. Likewise, House and High School would help Oya High School if they were in trouble. In the letter, Sakio also forbade Fujio from looking for Lao. Elsewhere, Shukasa told Todoroki that he couldn't stop Fujio from meeting Lao. He then takes the initiative to find out the true story about Lao. For that, he needs help from Todoroki's fishing buddy, Yukin, a house and student. Yukin then takes them to Mercy's residence because he thinks Mercy is the closest person to Lao. When they met Mercy, at first he didn't want to talk to Chukasa, but after Chukasa said that he was Fujio's best friend, Mercy finally gave in. Chukasa then showed him a picture of Kamui while he was spying on them. Mercy couldn't do anything about it. Shukasa then said that he just wanted to know if the rumor about Lao being a strong guy was true or not. The next day, Sukasa, Fujio, and Jamio went to an orphanage where Lao lived. Shukasa learned from Mercy that since he was a baby, Lao had been abandoned by his parents at this orphanage. As a child, Lao was quiet and whiny. One day, the children at the orphanage were fighting, and Lao tried to stop them. From then on, he realized that he had extraordinary powers and with those powers, he could protect his younger siblings at the orphanage. Shukasa also added that the incident in the bar was solely because Lao wanted to protect one of the orphanage boys, who was often abused by his father. Lao decided to beat up the boy's father so that he would not return to the orphanage again. Fujio then rushed towards Lao, and from a distance, Tsukasa and Jamyo were shocked when they saw Lao and Fujio facing each other. They thought there would be a fight. Instead of fighting, Fujio said that he wanted to be Lao's friend, knowing that Lao was a good person. A Hausen student named Shidekin received an invitation from Sobin and asked him to come to a bar. Inside the bar were also Amagai and his entourage. Shidekin was then given some money with the intention that Hausen High School would join Amagai's alliance to attack Oya High School. Shidekin refused the money and warned Amagai not to underestimate Oya High School. Back to Oya High School where Fujio is telling his friends that he is now friends with Lao. The news is, of course, completely unbelievable to everyone. But luckily, Tsukasa is there and confirms it. Todoroki then shows up to tell them that this morning he saw Kamasaka High School students in their area. Meanwhile, elsewhere, Soki from Ebera High School feels curious about Suzaki. From what he knew, Suzaki was the strongest person in Nami High School. But why did Suzaki become Amagai's subordinate? Suzaki ignored the question and chose to leave. It was revealed that Amagai's driver was Suzaki's father. His father deliberately transferred Suzaki to Amagai school, hoping that Suzaki and Amagai could become friends just like when they were kids. But apparently, Amagai, who was born into a rich family, rejected it, thinking they were not on the same level. Moving on to house in high school, while Yukin was practicing wrestling with other students, Sabakin suddenly came and told him that there was a call for him. But Yukin ignored him. Meanwhile, on a deserted street, Shidekin was being surrounded by Sopitan's gang after he unsuccessfully tried to call Yukin. They planned to beat Shidekin up so that the information about their meeting at the bar won't leak out. Once he was done with his training, Yukin rushed to call Shidekin back, but this time, it was Shidekin's turn not to answer his call. We returned to Oya High School. Chukasa told Fujio that Kamasaka High School and Senemon High School students have been seen hanging around the Oya area lately. Shukasa had a feeling that a clash was imminent. Fujio then replied casually that if a clash did occur, then all they had to do was beat up anyone who disturbed them. 
Shukasa then scolded him because, in his opinion, Fujio was underestimating this. As a leader, Fujio should not be selfish, he should think of everyone at Oya High School. Meanwhile, at House and High School, you can ask the other students about Shudeikin's whereabouts, however, not a single person knew about it. This made Yukin suspicious that something had happened to Shidakin. The next day, the Joint Alliance under Amagai began to move to attack Oya High School. If Oya High School was defeated, then they would take control of the sword area. They divided into several groups to attack different places. Ganji and the Kamasaka High School students will go after Kiyoshi and Yasushi. On the other hand, Ebera High School boys will attack Sochi and Sibaman. The rest of the Senaban Technical High School students will attack the rest of the Oya High School students. Amagai, Suzaki, and a Kamatsaka High School student named Raiki would confront Fujio, Chukasa, and Jammuo. Chukasa ordered Jammu to run away and devised the next plan, as Oya High School students were now surrounded by the Amagai Alliance. Nakagoshi was injured as he tried to protect his friends from Sabaton's attack. Fujio was fighting against Senaman students and Kamasaka students. A few moments later, Riji also came to fight Fujio. Apparently, Riji hid a weapon in his hand. While in a parking lot, Tsukasa managed to defeat several Senaman students, but soon after, a number of students from Kamasaka and Eibura attacked him again. In the middle of the fight, Amagai and Suzaki came to him. How surprised Tsukasa was when he saw Suzaki, who used to be the leader of Nami High School, is now Amagai's lackey. Elsewhere, Kiyoshi locked the gate to save his friends, and he would guard it so that enemies could not get through. Of course, this angered Yasushi. Jamio and his friends are forced to drag Yasushi to save themselves. Elsewhere, Amagai tells Suzaki to fight Chukasa. Meanwhile, Fujio is still dueling with Riji. He tried to avoid Raichi's weapon, and finally managed to knock Raichi down. Painstakingly, Chukasa tried to deal with Suzaki's attacks. The fight was very fierce. Suzaki threw him down and then kicked him in the stomach. Chukasa tried to endure it, but he hadn't been knocked down yet. Amagai then went over to him and hit him with a stick many times. Later on, Sabaton came and reported that Fujio had not been defeated, and of course, this information made Amagai angry. He then ordered his team to take Tsukasa hostage and use him as bait to lure Oya high school students. After the crisis settled down, Fujio and the surviving students gathered at the headquarters. Fujio then asked about the situation of the others. As a leader, Fujio's next move would determine the fate of Oya High School in the future. However, he didn't know what to do, and it made his members angry. Fujio then left without telling them what they should do. Amagai says that Chukasa's friends are ridiculous. He thinks that if someone has to be protected, it will make him weak. Strength doesn't need friends. Chukasa just laughed at Amagai's ramblings. Amagai got even angrier and beat him up again. After Amagai left, Chukasa then asked why on earth the mighty Suzaki wanted to become the servant of the coward Amagai. Suzaki remained silent over the question. In a dark room, Shuzaki sat alone. He remembered Amagai and Sabaton's conversation a few days ago. Amagai said that Suzaki's family business went bankrupt, and his father was forced to become Amagai's family driver. He added that Suzaki had been his slave since long ago. Hearing that, Suzaki then asked Amagai if he had ever considered him a friend all this time. Amagai then replied that he didn't believe in friends because friends were only after his money. He didn't need friends, he only needed slaves. How surprised Suzaki was when he heard his answer. Sochi from Ebera High School encourages Fujin and Rijin to leave the Amagai Alliance on the grounds that when they decided to join the Alliance, it was because they wanted to fight Todoroki. Suddenly, the person they were talking about, Todoroki, came towards them. Fujio and Rijin then stepped forward to face him. Before the fight, Todoroki said that he was willing to fight with them on one condition. If he won, the Ebera High School students would have to leave the alliance. They accepted Todoroki's challenge without much consideration. Back to Oya High School, where Fujio meets his friends again, followed by Todoroki, who arrives with a battered face. Todoroki then tells them that Ebera High School has left the alliance and will not mess with them anymore because he has defeated Rijin and Fujin. Yasushi then receives a call from Kiyoshi, informing him that Shidekin is in the hospital. Todoroki then takes the cell phone from Yasushi. At the same time, Fujio receives a call from Tsukasa, but it's not Tsukasa who is on the line, but Amagai. Amagai told him that if he wants Tsukasa to survive, they must come to his headquarters tomorrow. 
All of the remaining students at Oya High School are eager to make a counterattack, however, Todoroki warns them. Even though Ebera High had left the Alliance, the remaining members of Oya High were no match for Amagai's forces. He suggested not attacking from the front like fools, they should prioritize Chukasa's rescue mission. Fujio asked Todoroki not to worry, he was confident they could defeat Amagai's boys. Hearing that statement, Todoroki then scolded Fujio. The latter then bowed his head as a sign of gratitude, because Todoroki managed to get Ebera High School out of the alliance. He also informed him that this time Oya High School was not alone anymore. If their opponent was the alliance, then Oya High School would also ask for the alliance's help. The next morning, House and High School came to join Oya High School. Chinkawa said that the reason they were helping Oya High School was because Shidekin had been attacked. Moreover, he also honored Sakio's mandate, who wanted them to help Oya High School. They then hurriedly moved towards Amagai's headquarters. Meanwhile, Amagai received a report that Ebera High School would not be helping him anymore, and Amagai thought it was not a problem for him. He thought there were not many Oya High School students left, only a few people. When someone announced that Oya High School had arrived, Sobitan and Ganji came out and welcomed them. The Amagai Alliance did not expect that Oya High would be joined by House and High. After Fujio gave the call to move forward, everyone ran to attack their respective opponents. <laughs> Clashes ensued, fistfights and kickfights were unavoidable. Suddenly, someone over the loudspeaker announced that Chukasa was in the next building. Fujio and his friends then broke into the building. Along with Todoroki, he took another route to avoid their numerous opponents. However, it turned out that the path they took was also filled with Amagai's troops. Apparently, Amagai's troops were numerous and endless. Despite this, Fujio and Todoroki were undeterred and continued to attack. Outside the building, things were just as chaotic. The house and students were fighting against their enemies. Amagai called someone for backup. Around the same time, Ganji blocked the entrance to the hallway using a cupboard, and Regin threw glass bottles from above, preventing their opponents from climbing up. Yukin and his friends managed to knock down the cupboard, they then helped Todoroki and Fujio. In the end, Fujio, Todoroki, and Yukin were one step closer to the place where Tsukasa was held hostage. However, in front of them, Ganji and his men were throwing glass bottles at them. Fortunately, their other friends rushed to help them, so they could focus on rescuing Tsukasa. Suddenly, from behind, a loud explosion occurred. They didn't expect Suzuran to be in this place. Sapotin then said that this fight had nothing to do with Suzuran, but Lao replied that Fujio was his friend, and he had come to help Fujio in this fight. Lao strikes with his bare hands, knocking down his opponents, who are carrying various weapons. Meanwhile, Amagai ordered Suzaki to beat up anyone who wanted to save Chukasa. After Lao managed to open the door, Fujio, Todoroki, and Yukin rushed into the building. There, Chukasa is tied up and hung by Amagai. Before being able to save Chukasa, Fujio still has to deal with Amagai's men guarding him, and even Suzaki intervenes this time. Fujio, Todoroki, and Yukin work together against the enemy to save Chukasa. Amagai, who watched the fight from upstairs, then cut the rope that tied Chukasa, causing him to fall. Fortunately, Fujio managed to catch him at the right time. While Suzaki was fighting with Todoroki, who was already exhausted, Yukin came to his rescue. After being rescued by Fujio, Tsukasa tells Fujio that he himself will fight Amagai as his revenge. Todoroki and Yukin were having a hard time fighting Suzaki, and Fujio finally came to their defense and kicked Suzaki in the ear. A few moments later, Sabaton enters with his men. At the sight of the group, Yukin intends to fight Sabaton, who had injured and hospitalized Shidekin a few days earlier. Meanwhile, Todoroki will face the others. The situation in front of the building was still heating up, particularly as a group of troops came with reinforcements to help the Amagai Alliance. Just as the troops were preparing to fight, an unexpected kick popped up from behind them. Yida Sekio had arrived. The house and high school leader had just returned from his trip abroad. We're back inside the building. Chukasa walked over to Amagai meanwhile. Fujio was overwhelmed by Suzaki. Suzaki continued to beat him mercilessly. And even though he was cornered, Fujio would not give up. Meanwhile, upstairs, despite being exhausted, Chukasa fought against Amagai. At the same time, 
Sapoten handcuffs one of Yukin's arms, and Yukin counters by putting another cuff on Sapoten's hand. Out there, Sakio fought alone and managed to wipe out all of his enemies. Todoroki was hit with a glass bottle, but the blow only fueled his fire. He managed to defeat many people by himself. Meanwhile, Yukin was beating Sapoten mercilessly. With the last of his strength, Fujio kicked Suzaki into the wall. Amagai then grabbed a weapon to attack Tsukasa. Luckily, Tsukasa managed to pull it off, and they both fell. Amagai reached for his weapon and strangled Tsukasa with it. Fortunately, Fujio came and kicked Amagai. He then called Suzaki to help him. Tsukasa managed to block Suzaki's kick, even though he was already in a bad state. Yukin was then informed that Amagai's troops are currently gone, and only Amagai and Suzaki are left. But Amagai denied it saying that he still had many troops. A few moments later, some people entered, and Amagai thought they were his troops. He was wrong. They were not his boys, but Lao and his faction, who were then followed by Oya students and Hausen students. Amagai then tried to call for help. Little did he know that Sakio had defeated them all. Amagai is enraged. He then orders the rest of his men to come forward, but everyone chooses to run away, and only he and Suzaki are left behind. Suzaki then steps forward and says that the fight is not over yet. In response, Fujio comes forward, and the two fight again. They continue to fight even though they had to crawl and fall. Seeing Suzaki, who defended him to the end, made Amagai remember his past with him. When they were young, they were both friends. Suzaki once promised to defend him from bullies. With one punch, Suzaki managed to knock Fujio to the ground. Amagai was so happy that he shouted that he had won. But moments later, Fujio managed to get up again. Visibly weakened, Fujio challenged Suzaki to continue the fight. Suzaki then remembered his promise to Amagai that he would protect him and help him until he became the strongest. Suzaki and Fujio came forward again, hitting each other. Fujio tried to hold on and not to fall. When he saw Suzaki lying helpless, Amagai was disappointed. He couldn't accept that he had lost. He then took out a small knife and was about to stab Fujio. However, unexpectedly, Shuzaki held him back. He didn't like the idea of Amagai fighting with a knife, as it was an act of cowardice. Suzaki then reminded Amagai of their promise when they were kids. They would help each other become stronger. At this point, Suzaki has to admit that Oya High School is really great, and from now on, Senemon Technical High School is under Oya High School. Fujio immediately denied it. He did fight to be the strongest, but he didn't care who was at the top or who was at the bottom. For him, having friends who fought alongside him was enough. Amakai then remembered his promise with Suzaki, and in the end, he admitted his defeat. Before leaving, Fujio walked up to Suzaki and challenged him to another fight next time. Suzaki and Amagai smiled, even though they had lost. Amagai finally realized that having friends is more important than a victory. Outside, House and students are startled to see Sakio, who has returned, as well as Fujio. Sakio himself is also surprised to see Suzerin students, house and high school's archinemy is among them. Fujio then tells him that he is now friends with Lao. Before Lao left, Fujio invited him to fight another time. Sakio also joins in, wanting to challenge Lao again. The three leaders then clenched their fists. Sometime later, Amagai and Suzaki met with Fujio and Shukasa again. Amagai stated that Suzaki wanted to fight Fujio again, but Shukasa replied that Fujio was currently very popular so Suzaki had to take the coup number. Fujio then landed a kick on Suzaki and said it was his coup number. 